This week's episode of Dance with Devils makes me really happy because it confirms my theory about Ritzka being the grimoire and that changes the ball game completely with the guys trying to win Ritzka because is it Ritzka they want or is it the grimoire they want? Because from what I, from what Lindo tells her is that if she is to give up her power as Lu Wei tells that he can, he can extract her power, she will stop, ex stop existing, which most likely means that her existence as a human being, or her heart most likely, is the grimoire. So, yeah, that makes her kind of like Ilya, because didn't she die after the Holy Grail was used, or, no, she didn't, at least in the, in the good ending, the true ending, which is Fate Stay Night, she survives, which is the only one where she survives, as I recall, but then again, it's so long since I've, you know, looked into Fate as the law or, you know, stuff, so I could be wrong, but if anyone could clarify if Ilya would die if they extracted the Grail from her, I'd be happy, because, yeah, I would actually like to know, since Ilya is one of my favorite characters, only topped by Chloe, which technically is still Ilya. But let's get back to this, because as I said, she would stop existing. So yeah, now the question is, is the guys going for her or for the grimoire inside of her? Because Lu Wei tells her that she is a vessel for the Grail. And now you may ask, who is Lu Wei? And Lu Wei is actually the blue-haired guy, and he's also the dog that is in uh, what they call the uh, Rem's apartment, or not apartment, you know, the school council, uh, school, the student council place. The, I think it was, the, was it the third library? Yes, I think that was the name. He is the blue-haired guy that I was wondering who was, and he is the Cerp he's Cerberus. So, that's really nice information, and he serves the, uh, the a fiend called Machias, which apparently isn't a friend of uh, the Arlon family, which is the one that Rim belongs to. And now we're talking about Rim. He actually meets his father behind that curtain we see, which seems to be like a dimensional gateway to, you know, the demon worlds and stuff and let's say like this his father isn't really happy about Rem not uh, producing the grimoire for him yet because his father wants the grimoire so he can stop the conflict between demons uh, devils and demons by basically being the strongest person there however from what I see in this episode and from what I think will happen is that Rem he decides he will not hand over Ritzka to his father. He wants her. He wants her because he loves her. He loves her. He hasn't said this yet, but from what I can read from him, he loves her. And I've decided that it's better to... He would rather have Ritzka than the Grimoire. If the Grimoire was to go away, he would still care about Ritzka. It isn't the Grimoire he wants. He wants the person, Ritzka. Unlike Lu Wei, who only wants the power inside Ritzka, so he can present it to Maskis, so the so he can open the gate of Ganan, which, from what I understood on him, is the gate to hell. And we find out that the reason why Lindo first would tell her before her seven uh, year, years uh, birthday, seventeen years birthday, was because the the grimoire would activate on that day and its power would be active until the next full moon. So most likely it is like it's only active for a certain amount of time and you can only use the power for a certain amount of time. So yeah, that's a really interesting thing. And I'm looking forward to seeing what will happen in the next episode. And I really hope that we soon get explained what that power of uh, Lindo is because 
he is really, really, he he uh, he almost uh, killed the what's it called the not killed. He, or yes, he would have killed Rim because he thought that it was Rim that had hurt the uh, Ritzka when it was actually Liu Wei that tried to hold her uh, because uh, Rim he stopped her from taking off her ring, which is the only thing that protects her from. Uh, the demons. So yeah, he cares about her rim. However, Liu Wei, he dropped an interesting thing because he seems to know who Ritzka's father is. Could it be that her father maybe is a demon? So yeah, that that's again one thing I hope we also get explained. But yeah, let's just say that I can understand now why Lindo isn't uh, shouldn't use that power because he hurts Ritzka when she protects uh, Rem. She, he actually like with his nails, which is like long, girl scratches her, which if they isn't treated would cause a scar. And we know that a fa a girl's face is a very important thing for her, and it's only. And he would most likely have done something worse to her if it wasn't because what's it called Rim, he basically grabs the Lindo's hands and let his uh, nails stick into his uh, what's it called ha palm, I think it is called here, and says to him that would he hurt Ritzka next after killing uh, Rim? So, yeah, really, really interesting. So there's a lot of information now in this episode and a lot of things that we need to have explained because yeah yeah there's a lot of things that needs to be explained also how come that what you called Asuna has been able to locate uh, what you called Ritzka all this time which actually is interesting because the three other devils, let's see, Maid, Shiki, and Ure actually went after her because um, they wanted to find out where Ritzka was. So, really interesting, really interesting. But before I start to make this seem like too much of a. What's it called? It doesn't fit together. I think I'm gonna end this by wishing you all a good day, good night, wherever you are. And I will of course see you later, or not today, but tomorrow, since today is almost over, and I kind of can't watch another show, sadly. So, yeah, this is certainly all there will be, but I hope that you still will enjoy this, so see you guys, and cheers.